It's my feel good breakfast show. You're still keeping it locked right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso on ACBC3. Now, here's something really interesting to learn. The Western Leopard Toad, indigenous to the Cape, has rightly earned its name due to its outer appearance. Now, this morning, Dr. Andrew Turner, an ecologist from Cape Nature, joins us to tell us more about the special endangered amphibian and why breeding season is also currently a dangerous season for them. Dr. Andrew Turner, thank you very much for making the time to chat to us this morning. Uh, let's start here. What is the difference between a toad and a frog? This is a question that many people ask. And it's actually quite simple, is that a toad is simply a kind of a frog. So frogs, like most other animals, are divided up into various families according to their, their appearance and the way they've evolved. And there's one family called the Buffonidae, and all frogs in this family are called toads. they generally recognized from other frogs by their sort of warty appearance. They often have very large, enlarged um, parotid glands behind their eyes, um, which is quite distinctive. And these parotid glands um, work as a defense mechanism. They secrete a substance that makes the toads taste really bad. Um, it's a slightly toxic substance, and that uh, manages to protect these frogs from predators. Can you then explain their appearance? Why do they have spots? I think the reason they have spots is mostly to help with camouflage. Mm -hmm. When they're under vegetation, those brown blotches against the, the yellowish background actually make for a surprisingly good um, camouflage. There might be another function to their colors, um, particularly when they're young, they're very brightly colored. And that might function slightly as an uh, aposematic coloration, which is a set of warning colors. Often animals that are brightly colored, yellow and black and red, or those, those kinds of colors serve as a warning to potential predators that the animal may be toxic or have others, some other form of defense that they should stay away from them. And Dr. Turner, is this an endangered species? Yes, it's unfortunate that this particularly handsome toad is an endangered species. It's classified exactly as endangered by the IUCN. Um, and this is because it has a relatively small distribution. It's limited to um, the coastal parts of the, of the Western Cape. And within that area, it's lost a lot of its original habitat uh, to urbanization that's, of course, occurred along the coast. Mm. Um, and there's a number of other threats, which we'll talk about this morning as well. They are also what you call an indicator species that are important for the environment. Can you please tell us more about that? Sure. So frogs have been chosen as good indicator species in many cases because they have uh, both a terrestrial and an aquatic part to their life cycle. So if there's anything going wrong in the terrestrial system or in the aquatic system, such as pollutants, um, Frogs, one would expect to be one of the first animals to respond, so therefore they should be good indicator species. Mm. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic and so fascinating. Andrew Turner, of course, uh, is a doctor and ecolog uh, ecologist of uh, restoration uh, and, of course, integrated catchments, biodiversity capabilities at Cape Nature. Stay with us as we'll be learning about the Western Leopard's Toad's mating protocol and more. Mm.